This presentation is sort of bits and pieces of the of my book. Um, One way to say what the book is about is about um, how can something be modern? And I think um, a lot of the things I do, whether it's working with clients or working with Target or working with even years ago, I was lucky enough to do Mr. Armani's apartment in New York. Even with him, it's the same thing. It's like, um, you know, how, how to make something I guess, I guess one way to say it is sometimes it's like how to make the tri traditional thing feel today and feel modern. Yeah, so okay. I kind of take traditional things more modern and modern things more traditional somehow. And one of the ways I do that, I guess, is I'm just, to be honest, I'm interested in both things. I collect a lot of things. I'm a collector and I help people put together what I think is a home. And um, I'm going to start with the namesake chapter, which is American Modern. This is actually my house in Long Island. This is a the, um, the front garden, and um, the house is actually called um, the Academy. It was, it's called the Belfort Classical Academy, and it was built in 1833 <coughs> as a boys' school. And then in the 1920s, it was moved down the street. About 100 years later, I come along and, and did what I did to it. The house is a neoclassical revival house, and um, I don't know, I mean, I really do believe in that sort of renewal of design and and, and sort of rebirth of things. I'm always sort of looking back to go forward in some ways. There are, you know, vintage modern things, which of course is a vintage modern is one of the chapters which is named, it's my apartment, but it's also the brand of all the things I do at Target. It's these, this period of the mid uh, 20th century, the 30s, 40s, is, are, are all sort of, the stuff from that era is something I'm very interested in. And the house kind of blends as an American house, some of those kind of urban modern things together with antiques of, you know, just all different kinds of American antiques and things of my design. This is a sort of an 1820s chair. One of the first things, Hickory Chair for, as the furniture company has this great history of doing kind of fantastic reproductions of things from James River houses and Mount Vernon and all of that. And, a lot of most of the collection of things we create and design as new things, but some of those things are um, um, these these um, uh, um, reproductions of wonderful antiques. These tables were tables I designed for the space. This room was actually the classroom in the school, and um, and I just divided it in half with these tables. But um, it it's clean lines and kind of the spirit of something that is. Is is uh, kind of industrial something that I'm really interested in. The kitchen in this house was something that was a complete disaster, really really scary, and that's kind of rabbit warren of rooms. But um, one of the things I speak about and things that I do, and in talking with clients, is is the idea of like authenticity. This is all new. This kitchen is all new. It's actually a Swiss metal kitchen, and but it's it's a new thing. But um, I wanted to I wanted it to feel as if it had a kind of authenticity that comes from that 1920s era. It's about having something be new and be fresh, but have it feel as if it had been, that it has some sort of place that it comes from. The idea of making home and, and all is something that I really like, and the things that I do and the things I collect. I, I love you know, designing and making bedding and refining just colors and stuff on towels and things like that. It's all something I really like. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a homebody myself, and. You know, I, I think I try to make people, who are, not make, but encourage people who are my clients and all to love their homes.